Hey, what's up, y'all? Dang, I look big in this. Anyway, I just got up. Right now, I'm about to take my hair out. I haven't took it out. I know y'all seen it in for like, what? A week now? So yeah, I'm about to take it out. So what y'all got going on? Oh, I'm in New York City, by the way. So picking up something for um private private owner. And, you know, sometimes I got to do this. Sometimes I already, you know, either slept in the back with my bed, which I eventually will show y'all. Or sometimes I get a hotel room. You don't want to get a hotel room because <clears throat> you basically spending money. And the goal is to make money. So, you don't want to do that. But, other than that. I'm waiting. God said he'll be ready around 9 o'clock, 9.30. So, until then, you know, I need to take my hair out. <clears throat> my voice been going in and out. So, but I will show y'all Brooklyn. I'm in Brooklyn. Uh, let me take this hair out. It's been in so long. I should have been took this out. It look crazy. There's some oil in it, comb it out. And a little wavy, I see. Cause of the um, I had it in, I had the pens in too long, so it was gonna be wavy. But. Pretty much could fix that with my satin scarf, which, you know, somebody was like, hey, take that do-rag off. But it's not a do-rag, it's a satin scarf, y'all. See? Satin scarf. A do-rag is just a little bit different. But this is my satin scarf. I, um, usually I stop in New York, get my hair done. I stop in North Carolina, because I live in North Carolina, get my hair done. I actually live on the road, but the last resident that I had was North Carolina. And, you know, I, I mostly go to some Dominicans. You know, you will meet them. You know, they're pretty cool. And sometimes this is what I have to do, which I have pretty much everything I need in here. Me getting back-to-back -back loads. Last week I did did about I think about three thousand three thousand miles. I think I did maybe thirty-five hundred miles because you know I did a lot of back and forth to Texas. Texas alone is anywhere between a thousand, depending on where you at. You know, I came from North Carolina. I went from North Carolina to Texas, and that was a good 1,400 miles. I did from Texas to Tennessee. That was a good 1,200 miles. I did um, North Carolina to Kentucky. That was... 500 miles and then I did a Kentucky to South Carolina and that was about roughly five six hundred miles so I pretty much did a good like I said three thousand thirty five hundred miles see my hair is different see the wave went away a little bit a little bit It'll go away a little more I'll show y'all a little bit of New York. Show y'all what I'm, I'm picking up. Usually, I really don't put much in my hair. A lot of people be wanting to know what I put in my hair. I don't put much in my hair. Just put a little oil. Don't put much in it. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Still no 
way. It'll come out a little bit. Try to get it done. Like I said, every two weeks. Sometimes if I'm in New York or North Carolina, I'll still get it done. Even if I got it done a week ago, I'll still get it done. So, put the satin scarf on. It's not a do-rag, by the way. Satin scarf on. Some people just put the regular cap cotton scarves on. You know, we all have different hair, so... It may, you know, it do look like a do rag, but it's really not. I'm gonna take y'all outside so y'all see a little bit of Brooklyn. Maybe these next couple of days, I can show y'all, you know, my blow up mattress and everything. Some people's like, hey, you get a hotel room? No, I don't get a hotel room unless I want a hotel room, but. For the most part, no. Everything I do is pretty much is pretty much in the back. See, I got a curtain and everything. Everything's in the back. How my clothes. So. But let me show y'all Brooklyn a little bit until this guy come. Hold on. And it's kind of cool out here, saying it's 39 degrees. Right. Put my mask on. Got to wear a mask out here, which, you know, this whole COVID thing. Sorry, y'all. Give me a sec. Hey, my van. People out here standing, waiting for the bus. That's where I'm picking up. This is New York City, y'all. Uh, so, a lot of my Africans and some of my people in Europe, you know, this is New York City. Like I said, people gotta wait for the bus. A lot, a lot of stores, as y'all see. Me going to Africa, you know, that was a great experience. To see it wasn't stores like this, it wasn't built up like this. Some of, uh, as you see, some of these stores got apartments on top. People actually live there. Maybe later on, I can show y'all the Bronx, what kind of looks similar. The difference with Brooklyn is more houses. Which is something that me and my one of my cousins was talking about yesterday. The difference between Brooklyn, Bronx, Queens. See the buildings. Another thing is, as y'all see, we ain't got no parking out here. But Brooklyn usually have parking. I give it to y'all Brooklyn people. And I guess because they got houses and they could park up in there. So it leaves it more parking. See these streets. Different from the Gambia. Gambia really have like a lot of sand and y'all streets not ready yet. We got lights. So. Garbage. 99 cent store, nail store. I really decided to show y'all this. They go to bus. But it's for the other side, y'all. As y'all see, look, it's for the other side. You know, we got buses on both sides going different ways. I wanted to show y'all this. Uh, y'all see me crying? <laughs> That's how cold it is out here. But I wanted to show y'all this, which is, you know, one of the things I do when I stop at places, I look around and y'all will be seeing that. 
especially a little more like Texas. When I go there, I go to Texas a lot. Um, Michigan, all the places I go, I'm going to be showing a little bit more. Those of y'all who want to start an expediting business in the U.S., y'all could definitely hit me up right in my bio, www.myenterprise.com. I can help y'all out. Even if y'all want to start another business, I also do other businesses. Um, just hit me up. Hit me up in my bio. You have any questions or anything? But my content will be a little bit longer, a little bit better. Due to the fact that, like I told y'all, now that I got everything on my dashboard, it's better now. I'm a little bit, you know, multitasking to be able to talk to y'all and everything. Hey. My driver pretty much hooked me up. So, so now I'll be able to, you know, talk to y'all a little more better. All right, y'all. So I'll see y'all later. And hopefully I can show y'all more of the Bronx. If I don't show y'all today, y'all will see the Bronx eventually. I'm actually going to Harlem. I'm going to a lot of places. So make sure y'all sure stay tuned. Later.